Hagar to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. All right? So if you guys have Bibles, and pull out your Bibles and open up to Matthew chapter 2. There we go. King Herod. I literally saw a crown in there. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from the eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem. So they have just arrived in Jerusalem. Asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. So that's what they're asking King Herod, and that's what our memory verse is. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. King Herod was deeply disturbed. You're deeply disturbed. He disturbed. How could this happen? There you go. When he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. So everyone was disturbed hearing the news of Jesus. He called a meeting at the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said. For this is what the prophet wrote. Alright, so this is what the prophet wrote, okay? This is what the prophet had wrote, saying that this is, this is uh, something that Jesus is fulfilling already in his birth. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. So after hearing this, because he called the meeting with his prophets, and they told him this, and well, they just told him that. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men. He's the wise men. Now he's meeting with the wise men after they had just told him that they're looking for the new king of the Jews to worship. They want to worship him. So he called the meeting with the wise men and he learned from the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Now, is that what he really wanted to do, you guys? No. no. What, what, what was his motives? What did he really want to do? He wanted to destroy him. Yeah, that's right. He wanted to kill Jesus, right? Because he was King Herod. He wanted all the power. He had power, and he wanted all of it. And he didn't want it to be taken away from him. So he was scared when he heard the new king of the Jews is being born, and they're already going to worship him as a baby. So after this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house, or the barn stable, and saw the child with his mother. With his mother Mary, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So that's what the wise men brought him. Myrrh is like a perfume. It's like a very expensive perfume. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route. But what, what did King Herod want them to do? Go back to him and tell them. Yeah, exactly. He wanted them to go back and tell him where King Jesus was. So that they could he could worship him as in kill him. But they went another route. The wise men went back another route and did not go to King Herod. For God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. So after the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. So the angel said, stay there in Egypt until I tell you to return. Because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. That's what he said. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. Because, remember, the wise men were supposed to return to King Herod and tell him where Jesus was. So he was furious when he realized that they outwitted him and never returned. He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under. That would be scary. Yeah, it's a massacre. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. So another prophecy already being fulfilled. A cry was heard. This is what the prophecy was. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning. 
Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. That's what the prophecy is. So then they return to Nazareth. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up, and he returned with Mary and Jesus to Nazareth. And this is also fil fulfilling another prophecy that says Jesus will be called the Nazarene. So we can see in these stories that it's always best to listen to what God's telling you to do because he knows it's best for your life, especially if and you're in danger. He will, the Holy Spirit will show you what's the safest thing to do.